that is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for Dhik, remembering Allah, and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for Zakah, to cure our greed, when we give our money to those in need. Sa is for Salamun Alaikum. Peace be with you. Have you been looking for a new bank where interests play no role? Look no further. Lotus Bank is here to change the game with a breath of fresh air. We'll partner with you to achieve growth and success in almost every facet of your life. Experience a transparent relationship with us. Enjoy the benefits of non-interest banking, zero account maintenance fees, free debit card, one month free banking, zero interest on financing and ethical investments. Take that bold step now and embrace the opportunities of non-interest banking. Dial star 5405 hash now. You may also download the Lotus Bank app on Google Play or Apple Store and begin your journey of breath of fresh air. Visit lotusbank.com. Lotus Bank. Partner. Progress. Prosper. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. Today we are going to look at work as a social economic development instrument. Work as a concept, according to IOFI 2015, is making a property invulnerable to disposition, whereby leading to transferring of that ownership of that property to the administrators, as well as making the usrofer, that is the benefit gained from that property, making it available to the uh, mentioned beneficiaries. This is basically what wealth is. Making a property invulnerable to disposition, that is, you cannot make that property, you cannot dispose the property once it has been given out for wealth. And also, transferring the ownership, would leads to the transfer of ownership of that property to the administrators, basically. And also making sure that the benefit that is agreeable, that is coming out of that property to be available for they will be beneficiaries. This is work in its simple term. And uh, in uh, ways back or years back in Islamic civilization, you can see in a seerah of our Prophet Rasulullah you can see that work was being practiced among the companions of Prophet Muhammad and the Prophet encourages them to give out their property for the benefit of the Islamic Ummah to give out the property so that the property will yield benefit and people will benefit and the reward therein will be perpetual. And after this was being done and being encouraged by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu at that time, there was no companion that had capacity to do work that didn't do work. In fact, work is more rewardable when you do it yourself that is why you are alive it's more rewardable than the one being done on your behalf after you are gone there was this companion of professor Salan that died and left a lot of debt and other properties when this property we have been given out as endowment after his demise they now found a rotting a date on the floor and the Prophet Musa picked up the, the date and said, Oh, it will have been more beneficial for this man. I did mean he even used this rotting date as work while alive. The reward that will have been accruable to him will have been more than all those that all those that we have been done after his demise. So you can see the importance, the significance of doing work yourself while you are alive. So that's just to underscore the importance of work being done by you, the wakif, 
while you're alive instead of waiting after you are gone then people will now use your property to do an endowment on your behalf yes you earn reward the reward will not be as huge will not be as uh, more effective as the one you have done while you are alive so that's the history of work Embracing work for program for oneself or on behalf of the parent is Sabaka to Jaria that we afford the dua dinner be easily learned. Key into work for program by bequeathing part of your estate, landed properties, and other assets for the sake of Allah. Proceeds or rental fee from this asset shall be judiciously utilized by the tested and trusted Z and S Workful Foundation to bring succor to the needy is a provision of social amenities and economic empowerment. You can also make a donation of a minimum of 10,000 Naira that Z and S Workful Foundation we collate to procure assets that are economically viable. No doubt, Workful is highly rewarding. Contact Z and S Workful Foundation, Suite 12, Tafabalewa Square, Lagos. Call 080 3538-2911 With Workful, your asset will end you dinner. Be easy to lie. Be a partaker. Now, though, when you look at the text of the Holy Quran, it will be difficult for you to find the word work. But since we know Islam is following the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah, we can find it in the life and times of the Prophet and his companion. So it becomes important for us to also do it because its benefit is huge. Also in time past, you see the understanding of work is that you can donate a property and then manage it. So the management was easy then. If you donate a building, you can appoint someone to manage the building for you, to collect the rent and make sure you maintain the house and the balance of that building, I mean the balance of the rent can be used to also do charity. So this can be easily done by an individual or even the wakif. That is the meaning of the wakif is that the endowa. That is the meaning. The wakif himself can do it. Can be the nazir, the nazir. That is the administrator of the endowment. Because that is the scope we looked at work from at that time. As you know the property. And since it is a single property, it's easy to be maintained. It's easy to be managed. And then the workif can appoint you or someone to maintain it. But as the evolution of work comes and it's wider, and we know a group of people can come together, you can donate estate, you can donate cash. And this is more broader now. It requires the management of experts, investors who will maintain this investment to make sure it is beneficial for you and for the use of people in general. So the, 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 the use of work now, the, 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 the scope of work is wider. And with the, with the, with the evolution of cash work, you can see that individual can contribute money together. And then the, the investment is also flexible. You can also change from one business to the other as much as you take care of the capital, which is the origin that must not be affected on the cost of investment. The investor must take care, it's very important. So coming to social development now, you know because it is more flexible, more people can come together. In that wise, you can create employment opportunities. You can create more development. Like I said, in countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Turkey, work is being used to provide infrastructures for the benefit of people. Apart from that infrastructure providing benefit for the people, they also create employment opportunities. And also the balance used also can be used for charity. So you can see it creates a lot of development, creating employment opportunities, creating infrastructural development that will be useful for those people, and also maintaining the balance, trying to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. Because what you get, you used to do charity, then those people that have been empowered tomorrow will not be poor. They also contribute to the work and also they will put people that will now be a circle. And in that circle, more employment opportunities, 
more infrastructural development, and more employment opportunities for the people. So work as a social development uh, instrument is very key and very important if we use it very well, if we practice it the way it should be practiced, and if we maintain it the way it should be maintained, it will definitely contribute. Even it will reduce government spending. Because some of those things the government will have used its budget to do, work will have been used to, to solve it. The road that the government will have used the budget to, to construct, maybe the society, the community have contributed money to construct road and yield revenue to do more other things. Therefore, government can now divert those funds to other more productive things in the society, and then the circle of development will be huge, and there will be more development in that uh, society. And that is the concept of government cannot do it, they cannot do it alone. But we have the concept of private uh, partnership with the government, and that is uh, where WAF comes in. And we, if you look at the country I've mentioned, you have study their, their program, you will see that there are a lot of private participation in the area of WAF and using uh, work as an a social, Islamic social uh, finance instrument to contribute to the development of that society. So we should not, we should not look at work at its narrow scope, we should look at it at its broadening scope, where it gives an opportunity for the community to contribute money, to do some projects, or a lot of projects that the government will have contributed their money to, uh, to uh, use their budget to do. And they will give the government an opportunity to divert such revenue to other more productive use to that society. So you can see Islam is a comprehensive way of life. Islam is a nation. Islam is a way of life. And that is how Allah SWT have established it. And then you cannot find this in any other belief, in any other religion in the world. And you see that what we are giving you is not as if you are just manufacturing it. Is what have been tested, trusted, and have been used, and have provided the required impact, and reduced a lot of social uh, imbalances in the society. Islam, I mean, work as a social development instrument too, has corrected a lot of social imbalances. You can see, in a community where they lack health infrastructures, you can use work money to provide the health opportunity, uh, health uh, related. Uh, uh, program and project for people so that they can benefit. Where they don't have road, you can use WAF to mitigate this and also you can also use WAF. And one of the major uh, benefits or advantage of WAF is that it's continuous. You maintain its perpetuity. It must not, the chain must not be broken so that the benefit accruable to those people who have donated to WAF will continue having it. Also in WAF as a structure, we have what we call Work will call me, work for Sultan. The work we will call it state work. It encourage it encourages state to have work investment in other country, where the indigenous of those country travel to those country. They will have somebody, something that has been provided for them by their state, and it's not going to be free. It's going to generate revenue for the state, extra income for the state, and extra benefit for the citizens of those states that travels to such countries. So WAF has an immense, immense benefit to the community and to the country. And in fact, it is what government should encourage. And it's not even on, uh, in, in agriculture, so we have work. For example, Sozekom, Sokoto, Zakat, and Endowment Commission in Sokoto. They, ha they presently have a date farm project. They, they got the, 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 the seed from uh, the Middle East, which is high yielding. They have over 100 hectares of land. They are plot for the project. And imagine when the production of this date begins to come. Look at the huge, the quantum of revenue that we generate for the state, the, the employment opportunities you create for people, the chains of benefit people will get from there. So work as, a, work as a social instrument or development instrument cannot be emphasized. I thank you for listening attentively. I say Jazakum Allah Khairan for giving us the opportunity to talk to you about the importance of work. I hope you partner with us as we go so that we can get more benefit to people. Remember the golden rule of work, hustling Yaboko, Watimorun Tumfak, Watawabun Layam Koti.
until you come your way next time. I'm yours in Sierra Leone. Of Ahmad, I say, I like Koi, Masalam. Oh, Ramadan, that is for Zakah to cure our greed. When we give our money to those in need, that is for Salam alaykum. Peace be with you, wa alaykum salam. Wa alaikum salam. This is Hajj Mobru Ventures Limited. How can we help you, sir? Can you please tell me about your mode of operations? Hajj Mobru Ventures has been a leading private Hajj and Umrah operator for close to 20 years. At Hajj Mobru Ventures, our pilgrims are our priority. We always provide them with conducive accommodations that are close to haram. So purifying sermons from our League of Clerics, state-of-the-art aircraft, Zihara in Mecca and Medina, competent medical team. Adja, please tell him about the feeding twice in a day. You are right, ma. This is Exactly what I heard from your old client. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, sir. And you will receive a check from me today. Alhamdulillah. This is Ajima Brewer Ventures Limited. 9A Wing 1 Abiodo Fashake Crescent. Behind Old Lasso Campus, Idiroku Bus Stop, Ikorodu Road, and Sweet 10 Tafabalewa Square. Telephone 0809 211 3680. Website ajimabruru.com. Simply hospitality. Truly spiritual. Quality.